HB pencils are unreliable. The lead is always blunt or breaking just when you need to write a shopping list or an entry in the diary. But the solution is the pencil sharpener. To make one, you'll need a long bar of preformed magnesium. It's fed into this industrial cutter, which then slices it into the right sized blocks. Magnesium is a cheap, light metal ideal for the job. The freshly cut blocks are collected below. They are then loaded into the next machine, which is where the real work of making pencil sharpeners takes place. Anyone who has ever bored in maths or history will certainly recognize the shape that's beginning to emerge. As each blank passes around the machine, it creates the main hole for the pencil, the screw hole to attach the sharpener's blade. It threads the hole so the screw will hold tight, carves the space where the blade will sit on the sharpener, and files it down to remove any sharp edges that may injure the user. The blocks look like sharpeners, but all the work has made them rather dirty and they wouldn't go well with a shiny new pencil case. They're loaded into special baskets which will help them survive the next stage of the process, a highly corrosive bath in nitric acid. Too long and the sharpeners will dissolve, but a short bath will shine them up nicely. The blanks are then rinsed and spun to dry them. At this point, you could put your pencil in, but it would come out just as blunt as it was before. The next stage is the blade. This gets cut from a long roll of sheet steel. An industrial press stamps out blades by the thousand, ready to be attached to the sharpener bodies. However, in order to punch them out, the press uses oil to lubricate the process. So now the fresh blades are all stuck together. They'll need a good bath to rinse away the excess oil. They're now heading for the ovens. Here they will be superheated to 850 degrees Celsius for three minutes. When they emerge, they're cooled with another oil bath and the rapid cooling is what hardens the metal. But yet again, the blades are coated with oil. So another bath is necessary. However, this time they're not washed. Instead, the blades are immersed in sand, which absorbs the oil. This is a rather messy process, and the workers end up with a giant drum full of oil, sand and blades. To clean this off, they're passed through sets of brush heads and over big sieves, leaving clean, hard steel. After all the bathing and cleaning, they're finally ready to be sharpened. But first, they'll need to be sorted. For pencil sharpeners to work, the blade must be sharp on the correct side. It's far too much hassle for a person to sort each blade by hand, so this machine does it for them. Blades facing the right way can pass through, the others are dumped back into the system to go round again. Once they've passed through, they end up here. A worker can now collect them and load them into the grinder for sharpening. Each blade now waits patiently for its turn to receive a razor-sharp edge. Each slot on the carousel takes one blade only, and the highlighted side here is ground down so it'll be ready to take on even the most stubborn HB pencil. All that remains is for the sharpener bodies to be joined with the blades, and the job is done. As with the blades earlier, only the bodies facing the right way are allowed through to the final stage. A tiny screw is used to connect the blades to the bodies, and that's it. Thousands of sharpeners are made every year, which help keep the pencils and the young minds of Britain sharp.